When we multiply by two, we can think about the addition doubles. So for two times one, what is the double of one? That's two. We can use the double because two means two groups of. So here we're talking about two groups of one or the double of one. Two groups of two. What's the double of two? That's four. Two groups of three. What's the double of three? Six. Two times four. The double of four is eight. Two times five. The double of five is ten. So just so that you understand why we're doing this, let's draw a picture for two times five. Here we have one group of five, and here we have another group of five. So this shows two groups of five. We can also see that this is the double of five because it also shows five plus five. So that's why we think about the addition doubles. Let's keep going over here. Two times six, what's the double of six? 12. Two times seven, the double of seven is 14. Two times eight, what's the double of eight? 16. Two times nine, what's the double of nine? 18. And 2 times 10, what's the double of 10? 20. Good job. Now, remember that even if you are solving something like this, 8 times 2, we can still think of this as the double of 8 because we know that it does not matter which order we write the factors in. So remember that if you see a problem to solve where even one of the factors is a two, you could still use this strategy.